Psycho Cruise of videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ah, oh, I love the brakes on this bike. Looking amazing. Got some coppers down there too, man. See, the coppers can't really fuck with you on the on the ramps, the highway entrance and exit ramps. Can light it up. But in this video. I want to talk about top five cheap mods you know I did the top five mods but I want to talk about for you cheap bastards out there that don't maybe you guys don't have a whole lot of money and you want to know some really cheap mods to do okay these mods are all less than a hundred bucks the first mod windscreen now you can, there's a couple of options. You can go with this zero gravity double bubble windscreen, which they have several versions. They even have a touring one that comes out wider, uh, excuse me, longer. So it's gonna protect you from the wind. It, it kind of looks a little bit more dorky though on the uh, Super Sports. The, in my opinion, the double bubble looks the best, but that's just my subjective opinion. But, Usually you can pick this up for like 75, 80 bucks. But if you want to go the cheap route, like I did in the past on my 600 double R, you can get a Chinese double bubble windscreen that actually works just as good, installs just as easy, and you can pick it up for like shit. Sometimes you can get it for like 25, 30 bucks. The next mod, levers. Shorty levers in particular. I haven't added them yet on my CBR 1000 double R, but as you guys know, I had them on my 600 double R, and I had the Chinese levers, which you can get really cheap for like less than 30 bucks. You know, a lot of people talk shit about Chinese stuff, but I tell you guys, I absolutely had no problems with those Chinese shorty levers. They install very easy. They seem to be of, of good quality. They looked great. Um, if you haven't seen my install video and unboxing video, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. Very easy installation. Pretty much the same installation instructions as uh, for most bikes. So. Okay, the next mod that's actually you can do for free is my GPS dock the GPS dock if you haven't seen my video I had I did a GPS DIY GPS dock video for my 600 double R and the CBR 1000 double R but you can use the same instructions for any most bikes at least Honda bikes because you have to have the way I did it you have to have the uh, has to have the triple tree cap which Honda's generally come with a cap in the center for the triple tree you're gonna need that in order to do this mod uh, usually you can use the same materials that came with your GPS so hey go check out that video I'll include that video on how to do that mod in the description and comment section of this video as I always do and as you can see here I even include where you can get this GPS which is really cheap and I just use a standard GPS that they use for cars. I know it's not waterproof, but actually I have a button I push on here and I can pop this off. I put it in my pocket or I can actually put a plastic bag over this if I want to. It's not a big deal. You know, you don't have to go buy one of those fancy Zumos, freaking seven, eight hundred dollars. Some of them even like nine hundred dollars. Dude, there's no way in hell I'm paying eight, nine hundred dollars for a fucking GPS. Fuck that. Go the cheap route. This works awesome. I've been using this setup all the way back to the CBR 250R. Definitely recommend it. This is, this is probably one of the best mods. The next mod. A horn. Definitely want to... Re I highly recommend upgrading your horn. Uh, which I plan on doing when I add a new set of... Um, When I, when I change the fairings on this bike, I'm going to put a new horn on. And uh, you can pick one up for like freaking less than 30 bucks. And it's much louder than this shitty stock horn. 
I'll include a link to that in the description and comment section of this video. The one that I'm going to be purchasing. And uh, I tell you, that's probably one of the best mods you can do out here, man. Because you want to be heard out here. You know, if, if you haven't seen my top five defensive uh, tips, riding tips, go check that out. I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. And uh, Horn is definitely one of the uh, defensive tips that I recommend, man. You want to be using that horn when you see cars pulling out of a parking lot or the intersection. They're not paying attention. They're inching forward. Bonk that horn, man. See that? That's a good way, guys. See, I saw that ahead of time, him backing out a little bit. Honk that horn. You want to be proactive. You want to help prevent them pulling out. You don't want to be riding around here without a care in the fucking world. And I mean, you can't ride around here like you do in your car. You know, you're in the protection of a cage in a car. You know, out here on the streets. See, I, see how I talk with my hands and shit? Cops don't even fucking pay it. Nobody pays attention to me out here, man. I've been motor vlogging out here for four years. And I talk with my hands. Nobody fucking pays attention. Nobody says nothing. I know some of you guys always ask me, do people say anything? Nobody has ever said shit. Not one time. <laughs> That's why I said you got to ride out here as though these, these cars don't see you. And expect every one of these fuckers to pull out on you. That's why I said upgrading that horn is a great option for you guys. Very inexpensive and it's going to help keep you safe out here on the streets. But anyways, the last cheap mod that I recommend, number five, is rim tape. Now, I, to be honest with you, I've never put rim tape on rims, but when I bought my CBR 600RR, it had rim tape on it. Um, and I'll tell you guys, if you ride at night, it's it's a really good safety feature. It, I mean, it really, um, it, you know, once light hits it, it's really visible, it reflects light. And uh, to help you be seen out here on the street. So it's great. But I'll tell you one thing I really hate about rim tape. Is that over time it starts to deteriorate. Starts to look nasty. And when you go to take that shit off. It is an absolute pain in the fucking ass. To take that rim tape off. And to get that at not so much the rim tape. But the adhesive that's left over. You know. I use all kind of uh, adhesive removers and I tell you guys I still had a little bit of that residue shit on the rims and it was really a pain in the ass I don't know maybe you guys know of some really good adhesive remover that works well but I tell you guys if you're gonna put rim tape on there be prepared that when you take it off it being an absolute pain in the ass but it's an excellent safety feature if you ride at night out here on the streets. I generally don't ride at night that often, even though I'm out here right now riding at night. Sometimes I do very rarely though, but it's an excellent safety feature. I don't, I'm not going to be putting any rim tape on my rims. What the fuck is that cop about to run in front of me, man? <laughs> Damn, looked like the cop was headed towards me and shit. I may put some lights on this bitch. That's another good mod too is LED lights uh, to put under your bike to help light your bike up at night. I, I had that on the CBR250R. If you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll include it in the description and comment section of this video. God, these roads are shitty, man. Fuck. I need my dual sport on, <laughs> on these shitty Cleveland streets, man. Damn fucking dangerous riding out on these these road conditions man fuck but all like i said all of these mods all of my gear all the links will be in the description and comment section of this video and i appreciate all you guys but if you want to see more of my videos go check it out all my videos are categorized in the various playlists and uh go to cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my videos and it'll have a drop down list with all my playlists and hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you hey subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel hit thumbs up if you like this video and i appreciate all you guys out there and i'll uh, take care and until next time i'll catch you guys later
check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.